Hey guys, we're back here at Mesa's Arena of Valor First Blood Tournament and now we're going to go for the uh, semi-finals match. Yes, indeed. Man, mm -hmm. oh man. We had quite the intense quarterfinals. But, of course, we have victors. Unfortunately, we have still great games that we've seen. A lot of potential here in the first Scene. Pero bago tayo pumasok sa bakbakan, syempre, papakilala muna kami ako si Arctic at syempre kasama ko ang napagandang si... Kay Saya here! And clean name! <laughs> clean name Fame. yung ano, description. <laughs> Statement of fact. <laughs> right. Okay, so if you're watching us live here on Twitch, definitely don't forget to follow. Click the heart icon if you're on uh, your mobile phone. Actually, still, it's the same icon if you're on desktop or PC as well. And also, like the page of Mesa Official as well as the Facebook, I mean the YouTube yes. channel. And we have our own social media links as well if you want to uh, follow what we are we have been playing. Yes. Uh, for me, you can follow me on Facebook and YouTube with Kaisaya as a user, username and for Twitch, it's Kaisaya PH. How about you, Arctic? Well, if you want to see updates coming to me, whether it be esports or the hugot put heartbreak joke. You're not going to be with me. Facebook.com slash Arctic Theory if you want to see me with my pants playing horror games. Twitch.tv slash Arctic Theory. Oh, horror games. <laughs> it's already Christmas. You should be, yeah, you should be playing Christmas games. Well, <laughs> Christmas I you know, I'm scared of you, but... Part, it, part one and then last part Wait, one and last that's it last <gasps> well anyway guys we're going to have a semi-finals match now mm -hmm. and it's going to be a battle between x free xfs x free star uh, versus nexus esports so yeah on the blue side we have xfs and on the right side we have nexus esports looking at the bands right now chogna are going to be taken away as well as the violet from both sides pasok naman tayo sa picks thrown out right there malloc First lock in prioritized by X3 Star. Meanwhile, Raz and the Fennec will be locked in for Nexus Esports. Gonna be sticking with their guns, what has been prominent earlier in the past few games. We'll just have to see how it goes down, though. As you might have noticed, if the first team already picked some tank heroes, you know, the next, the other team, Nexus Esports, actually picked their damagers because, you know, they can just pick the tanks at the later part of, uh, like, this, the fourth or the fifth slot can actually just uh, have a tank pick. Right. Which is what they've done. I mean, oh, okay. So interesting. Looks like we'll be seeing another Zephyrus. Wasn't um, had a bit of a struggle earlier, pero worked out in the end during our previous game before we went on break. We're in split push for the win. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Meanwhile, looking at the other side, Lubu as well as the Arthur going to be locked in. So nakikita na natin yung trend ng kung ano yung nasa meta ng yeah. Pinas right now. Always Malok is in there. Mm -hmm. Raz is actually there, and oh, if so Alistair, ah, oh, Gina, okay, Gina, definitely a uh, better meta oriented pick right there. Highly um, has a pretty high usage rate in international as well, so I wouldn't be surprised if, yeah, okay, that's indeed a lock in. Yeah, I wonder what will be. Oh, Alice, as expected, I was about to mention Alice earlier. I was, I, I was about to ask, I wonder if Alice will be on the pick of uh, Nexus once again, as you. As we saw earlier, uh, Nexus Esports actually would always pick Alice mm -hmm. in their team, you know, for crowd control and support. Well, let's see what is going to happen in here I mean, with their picking. Mm -hmm. So far, they are adjusting and exchanging heroes. Yeah. Right. And let's go ahead and look at the compositions, though. I mean, for X Freestar, I'd say it's very straightforward. If these guys... Um, if there's anything about this composition, they really want in on these fights. I mean, there's a lot of um, initiation tools that they have here. They have the Malloc or Mark can just storm right in and deal the AoE stuns that mm -hmm. he can. And follow it up with some pretty good damage from Zephyrus, Jinna, and Slims. Makes for a pretty good composition. Meanwhile, uh, again, for Nexus Esports, a very really well-rounded composition that they have here again. I like that they're opting for this Alice. Has mm -hmm. worked pretty well for them. Did them great yeah. service, but... Still, it ultimately comes down to execution here. I'd say that as far as invades, I'd definitely be expecting a little bit more 
from, let's say, the blue side than right. the red side, just right. because at level one is much more potent for the blue side, in my opinion, if we compare mm -hmm. to the red side. Whereas the red side, a uh, few tools here and there, but I feel like they thrive much more within the later parts of the game. Once they have all the tools that they need as far as skills all up and the necessary items to just take things from there. Okay, so we can see, guys, on the lineup of Team XFS, you have Malak, Ormar, Zephyz, Gina, and Slims. Meanwhile, for the side of Next Esports, Fennec, Lubu, Arthur, Alice, and the Raz to make up the composition. Let's find out who will be heading into the finals as we head onto Antares Battlefield. Okay. Let's see if there's going to be a uh, steal of buffs in here. Oh. Nexus Esports hiding in the bushes in here. Looks like they want to engage with... Uh, nope, they're actually opting for the buff. Here we go, Sage Golem trying to be taken by Nexus Esports. But looks like the blue side is just going to give that away. Anyway, they're trying yep. to get the buff of Nexus Esports as well there and... Not anyone from Nexus Esports actually trying to defend that. There's just an exchange of buff. Nope, pretty much none at all. Meanwhile, looks like it's going to be a little bit of a drought here for X Free Star. Nexus Esports, they're really starting to exert their dominance, really pressuring across the map as far as jungle camps. And this will kind of limit the slims here for Barry. If you notice, he's currently being supported by Ormar just to make sure that not only does he have faster clears, but in the case that more invades come in from Nexus Esports, that could easily be remedied. Same goes for this Fennec and Alice, though. So with these, I like these configurations wherein um, the jungler supported by support makes for faster clear times, also gives you a little bit more of the defense in case engages come in. So... All very much standard thus far. Next esports though, definitely getting a lot more value as a result of their invade earlier. Mm -hmm. And we can see as well that uh, for the blue side, they have their Gina having a solo lane. But we have here, okay, Inzai plays roaming around with Kuroki. Looks like they're opting to back up uh, the top lane in here. Going for the Spirit Sentinel, Sentinel for the meantime. And as you can see, for the blue side, only one hero is... They're doing solo lane for right. all of the lanes, actually. And two heroes are jungling. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, looks like we see a little bit of a convergence happening here. Coming in from Nexus Esports. A lot of members lingering. Papa J, though, going to spot out Inside Place. Inside Place is going to walk away there. Okay, looks like we have a fight ongoing here with Papa J and Vindicate. A lot of support coming from both sides of the teams. Papa J so low, trying to escape the crowd control. There is a first blood by Leather from Nexus Esports in there. But it was actually an exchange of skill. Steel Kuroki trying to escape Leather. Not able to successfully escape that. Crowd control and damage as well. Yes, that ends in a two for one. X Restart coming up a little bit more better in that fight. And it ultimately comes to attributing to the fact that if you look at Nexus Esports' positioning in that clash, they were a little bit clumped together. And whenever they're clumped together, it makes it the job for Orma a lot more easier because of his AoE stun and combine that with the fact that Gina as well thrives whenever his opponents are clumped together gives him a little bit more reach easier AP damage for him as well so that's something that Nexus Esports has to take into account of again it's another scenario where they have to play like everybody has the plague stay away from each other and they should be fine as far as position and the abyssal dragon is currently available currently not being contested by any of the teams but it looks like both players or both teams are actually roaming around this area and just seeing if you know they can actually take that down easily and we can see, guys, that Nexus Esports is already starting to take the Abyssal Dragon. Looks like they will be able to successfully get this unless there will be a dive coming from Agent. But nope, they didn't uh, decide to dive or steal that dragon. Yes, again, it's all about the macro once again for Nexus Esports. Even with a two-kill advantage in that first skirmish earlier, Nexus Esports recuperating beautifully by making sure that they secure objectives. Not just Abyssal Dragon, they're going to transition into that Spirit Sentinel. And we've seen this similar trend across games wherein if you can't really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with your opponent you'd make up for it by building up on going through objectives and 
Okay. It'll come to a point wherein they establish a better lead through those objectives, and once they're at that optimal lead, that's when you start going for clashes. Yeah, and we just saw there right now another kill by Nexus Esports and three from Nexus Esports. One thing looks like they want to push the top lane here, but again here in the bottom lane, almost a uh, puppet uh, agent. Uh, is almost down but here again top lane we have a fight ongoing in here inside place trying to escape alice looks like alice is gonna go down here soon and there we go looks like there will be another kill by xfs in here okay there's just a double kill by xfs barry and leather here trying to defend or make her revenge for steven but no no looks like this is not enough and uh, leather gonna go down yes he just went down. Man, oh man. Trying to chase a Slim's not exactly the best idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, the kid in Slim's, I think that was a fair demonstration as to why Slim's is such a slippery marksman. He has the leap of vitality to just basically jump around and avoid getting knocked down on by any of the members of Nexus Esports. Not only that, but because a flying spear into a successful connect gets a stun, makes it all the more trickier to catch Slim's because of his kiting potential. And, that was and a we have here Peace Boy trying to escape Two players from XFS looks like is not going to be successful. And yeah, we just saw what happened. Anyway, guys, look, it looks like, uh, yeah, Fennec is actually now defending the bottom lane. And here, the Abyssal Dragon is now available up for grubs from by any of the team. Let's see who's going to take down that dragon. Inzai plays in here now. Kuroki as well. Are, gonna, are they going to proceed with that? But... Hmm, they were wanting to defend the uh, mid lane instead. Yeah, they have to kind of be careful there. Looks like they're going to start spreading out once again. Not really needing to group up just yet. I mean, X Freestar, you don't really see as much of emphasis from them as far as taking objectives such as Abyssal Dragon, such as Spirit Sentinel. So that's something that Nexus Esports doesn't really have to um, worry about right now. The only thing that they do need to worry about, however, is making sure that they at least take down a member of X Freestar before going for objectives. But, oh, Papa J gets taken down in a three-man gank. Mm -hmm. And here, the Abyssal Dragon is now being taken down by XFS. Meanwhile, Nexus Esports is pushing the top lane. Three of them, that's Karaki, Vindicate, and Inzai players are going to go and push this. Another turret in the top lane. I wonder who's going to defend that now. We have Ormar and Malak went back to the base. Is this going to be a fast game? I wonder. Oh, Karaki taking a lot of turret damage there though Slowly and here a fight away. is ongoing xfs ln gina is now backing up the blue side but apparently i think that was the wrong position going on for the mid now leather is trying to escape there's uh, uh help from inzai place right over there for escape but you know as you can see from Nexus Esports, they're pushing mid and bottom lane at the same time. Nexus Esports once again playing the objective game when they can't get Abyssal, when they can't get yeah. Spirit Sentinel. Hey, why not go for turrets? Try to separate the members of X Freestar, forcing them into a position where they have to respond across lanes. And I mean, even with the kill difference being equal, it all comes down to objectives here. Four turrets to two makes the difference here in the gold deficit currently at plus 2k. Right, okay. Let's see. Okay, right now, in terms of gold, it's actually currently Nexus Esports that is leading. Uh, I wonder if we're going to have a clash again soon, but it looks like no, this, they decided to disengage instead. And on the top lane, we can see there Papa J just pushed the turn now being chased down by Nexus Esports. XFS Papa J on a dangerous position right now. There's no back, not much backup right over there. Now it's a four versus three. Peace Boy coming in as well. And now let's see here. Score right now is eight nine with a double kill by Kuroki. More, so much fight happening in here. Two Whoa. versus three. Kuroki almost down and Izai place remaining. Uh, no, no, no. It's actually Agent X rather. Still uh, having a two versus one. It, it, what do you think you should be doing? Like it's already escaping. Whoa. Instead of almost, like, they have to be careful though. They don't want to give Agent another shield. This is very risky. Right. Both in the side and peace boy realizing that this Malak is just way too scary. There was to take a that. lot of exchange of kills, having us an equal score of eleven eleven. That was crazy. That was a yeah. little bit too prolonged of a team fight. But right. then again, breaking it down, one of the key factors where it went so long is that 
if Nexus Esports, if that Malak was a little bit in earlier on that fight, that could have been an ace. But he was a little bit too late. He was yeah. pushing out towards top side, I mean bottom side, and then had to walk all the way just so that he could get in range to try to go for his ultimate. And that's the tricky part right here for Nexus Esports. But if ever Nexus Esports was able to ace X, uh, uh, XFS, I think they'll be able to, you know, at least damage the base, mm -hmm. if not take down. And let's go ahead and see, though. I think with Nexus Esports, whenever they go for team fights, they need that Malak front and center within at least the start to earlier parts of a initiate. Because if it's another scenario wherein that Malak is a bit too late, I mean, it's very evident. Did you see those two members dealing with that one Malak? It for, kind, they were kind yeah. of hesitant there and were forced to back away. So and Malak regaining some health at the same time. Yeah, and it's ultimately attributed to the fact that of his kit wherein his cleave, every time he activates that, he gets the true damage and recovers up to 6% of his health whenever successful. But oh no! Okay, looks like we're going to have a 4 versus 5 in here with Letter almost down and Exodus Papa J actually already down in here. Suzaki down as well. That's a kill by Inzai Place. Now it's a 3 versus 4 right now. Let's see who's going to be the right target here. Kuroki also down as well. Trying to escape but he wasn't successful. Still a fight is ongoing in here leather trying to escape oh no leather is almost down with almost zero health indeed and this is just going crazy leather gonna try to go back to help deal with agent but <laughs> it's so tricky for nexus esports at this point i mean it's again agent x44 <laughs> the yeah. malak handling successfully a2 versus and one. that's the beauty of the malak right there not only does he have a great initiation tool and disruptor in the form of his shock ultimate but the cleave in itself, I mean, even in a 2v1 situation, unless you actually have a massive amount of damage to try to match that healing, Malak, he's just going to keep on healing everything you deal to him back unless you have the hefty damage to deal with that. Right, okay. Currently, you know, 12 seconds from now, the dragon is going to go up once again, and the Dark Slayer is actually currently available. I wonder if the blue side is attempting to take that. But both of the teams is actually watching this area and checking if the other team is actually attempting to get the Tark Slayer. You know, this might actually be an attempt by Nexus Esports. Mm -hmm. Take note, X Freestar, they are within the vicinity. Yep. It's actually quite dangerous to start the Dark Slayer. I, it, it's actually like preferable to, you know kill the opponent first before attempting to get the Dark Slayer. But anyway, let's see what's uh, the plan. Of both of the teams, actually Lubu is trying to take the dragon right now, and that's going to be an another uh, an additional gold for Nexus Esports. Oh, 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 Abyssal Dragon indeed successful take right there, and they're gonna start on. I this wonder Dark if Papa J is uh, going to be able to like steal that or any of the XFS member at Clash. Okay. Nexus Esports is able to get the Dark Slayer. A clash is ongoing right now. Everyone in the red team is so low. Look at that. But still, okay, we have a backup here from XFS Barry. Try and actually he is able to free hit in Zai Place remaining. But we can see here Lubu trying to, you know, backdoor XFS. But there we go. Gina also wanting to push the middle lane in here. Okay, Vindicate backing up. That was a pretty interesting fight. I mean, it's basically a trade for trade. A lot more kills yeah. for Freestar, but Nexus Esports getting a base turret towards the bottom as a result. I'm, I think it's something that Nexus Esports could afford. I mean, sure, they lost a lot. They suffered a lot of casualties in that Dark Slayer fight, but I think there's a lot more value out of getting a base turret at this point. But now oh we can no. see here in Zyblaze trying to support Vindicate, but it'll, will it be a successful one? Now, Lin just killed another hero from Nexus Esports. Ormar trying to get in the clash kind of late, but let's see here. Papa J diving in together with Leather. Now, we, they need a damager. Fennec is actually trying to defend their base right now, as well as the top lane. Mm -hmm. While uh, three members from Nexus Esports defending their turrets. Okay, meanwhile, it looks like things are pretty balanced in mm -hmm. this case, but oh, Beast Boy goes yeah, down. Yes, it's, it's so balanced, like they have an equal score, 19-19. But you can see there's a gold lead by Nexus Esports in there. That would mean like they have bought more better gears yep. rather than XFS. Not to mention the fact that, I mean, 
where does the skull difference come from? It ultimately comes down to the objectives. I mean, more turrets, 7 to 5, 1 Dark Slayer, 3 Abyssal Dragons in comparison to 1. That's just the general nature of Arena Valor. If you... I mean, it's less more on whoever can team fight earlier on, but more so who who's basically the person that can take more objectives earlier on to propel themselves into a better position in the later parts of this game. And Nexus Esports, across all games, they've been doing that constantly. Well, their macro has always been on point, but Vindicate, though, has to be Trying careful. Trying to escape here. Papa J attempting to get Vindicate. Bear is a oh, skill. Didn't reach Vindicate, apparently, but Papa J was able to successfully chase that hero but we can see here guys on the bottom lane nexus esports just cleared the bottom and now clearing the mid lane here peace boy and leather trying to have a two versus two okay that was a shot down by papa j right in there peace boy trying to escape papa j solo i think this is going to be so hard for peace boy oh here comes although in zai is here but no you know agent x44 malok is so tanky here like they're having a hard time trying to kill this tank. Indeed, and here comes Suzaku as well. Going to go for the response. Looks like Kuroki and Inzai Place will be backing away. But mm -hmm. one thing that I'm struggling with for X Freestar right now is they're getting all these kills. I mean, they're able to match Nexus Esports whenever casualties start occurring. But at the end of the day, if you can't convert your kills into actual objectives, then... It's pretty much moot here, and I think that's what's happening with X Free Star. Meanwhile, Nexus Esports, even though they suffer a lot of deficiencies in these fights, they make up for it heavily in terms of what objectives they are able to secure. Like earlier in the clash towards Dark Slayer, there was a split pushing Lubu towards the bot lane. It's those small things which continues to keep, not even keep Nexus Esports on the map, but keeps them ahead in this game. And the goal difference pretty much tells it all. All right, let's see here, guys. So far, we can see that Nexus Esports appear to have more control on the map comparing to XFS because, you know, they have the, the, min the minions is being pushed towards the base of XFS. Mm -hmm. well, let's go ahead and see if Let's Nexus see here, Peace Boy actually just started an engagement with two members of the XFS, but we have, it looks like Clash is ongoing here. X Papa J. To trying to escape oh my goodness and Zyplay is dealing uh, I mean like doing so much uh, like good support in here Kuroki trying to escape that damage coming up from Gina Vindicate as well here trying to support Peace Boy but apparently no, it wasn't successful I wonder if this will be the end soon for XFS again this is just round one guys just in case just in case <laughs> <laughs> This could be a finish, though. I wonder. Kuroki now taking down the base. Oh, my goodness. Kuroki is so low. Oh, that was a... Oh, but there more damage coming from Nexus Esports. And looks like this is going to be a GG. Well played soon for Nexus Esports. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Congratulations. What? That Nexus was Esports. crazy. I mean, laser focusing on yep. that Nexus right there. Congratulations, indeed. Living up to their name, Nexus Esports. I mean, <laughs> what, <laughs> what's there more to say? But yeah, let's go ahead and break But down. it's so close with yeah, a score of 24-5. Again, the macro, absolutely insane by Nexus Esports right here. And what I like about them is they know when they can afford the luxury of affording casualties if they know that they could get a lot more value off of what they could trade. Let's look at the damage here. Absolutely crazy. But then again, if you notice, there's a trend wherein if not the primary damage dealer, it's usually the support yes. that gets the uh, MVP role. It's because, of course, the support generally enables everything to happen for Nexus Esports across the map here. And I think that's one of the trickier parts that... Um, the blue side had. They didn't mm -hmm. really have solid enablers aside from an initiate, sure, but you can't really... There's nothing that really complements that. And because of that Alice, it really complements Nexus Esports' overall macro strategy. And that's why they're able to still keep that OD. Even though, if you look at it, you have a clash that you think and so far, Alice has been very helpful yeah. to Nexus Esports. Like, in their pickings, there will always be an Alice. I wonder, I wonder who's going to be the next fan of uh, Team XFS on, uh, on round two. I think 
at this point, teams should realize that Alice is such a strong tool for Nexus Esports. Yeah. Just really complement, like I mentioned, Nexus Esports, they play the macro beautifully. And one of those heroes which really enables them is the Alice. Yeah. So we'll just have to see either they ban it or they have to figure out a way to counter Counter, that. yeah. Yeah, you know, Alice, because uh, Alice is a good crowd control actually because of the slow, the silence at the same time, the boost of speed, and of course the damage. But so much crowd control. I don't know. It is, I'm hoping it's an adjustment because yeah. especially... You're already in the semi-finals. This is the make or break point right here where you need to show not only your strength as a team, but your adaptability. And that's the tricky part with these best of three at the same time. You have to have that mindset as well to, oh, we're going to the first round, but we're going to be able to recuperate, we're going to recuperate, we're going to adjust. Because if you allow that to pressure you, yeah. And they have to like, you know, study what happened in round one to make sure like they can make a comeback on round two, okay? Well, again, guys, if you're watching this uh, tournament on Twitch, make sure you hit the follow button, the heart oh, the heart button right over there. Yeah, Mesa Official. You can also follow, uh, I mean, subscribe and follow us on YouTube and uh, Facebook. Mesa Official. So of course, once again, um, for those of you that have just tuned in, we are your casters on Mark and Kaisaya. Kaisaya. Really great games that we've had so, so far. far. Yeah. And yeah, just a reminder guys, this is just uh, the semi-finals round, yeah? It's a best of three match and we're still waiting for the next matches to declare. We will be going to the finals match. And it's getting pretty intense. It's coming down to the right, right here. Finally, we'll be determining who will be the very first, first. winner of Sapling Pangalan. Yeah, Mesa's first, first blood. blood. Arena Valor. First too. blood. Who got the first blood in this tournament? Yep. <laughs> right? Who will set Which the bar? Which team? <laughs> who will set the bar? And I wonder, you know, it's going to be like more people uh, like knowing about this event. Definitely more people will be trying to like join yeah. upcoming tournaments to be held by... Mesa. And I think it's a great step up in a sense because, I mean, it's these type of tournaments which enables our players to get ready for the next level. I mean, if you're able to become the best of national, why not try to take it a step further yes. by competing on the international stage? And I think through Mesa, we're able to have these avenues where players can develop their skills, develop their um, game competitive experience as well. Because I think not just for AOV, but across all games, uh, based on experience, having been in esports for quite a while now. If it doesn't matter how good the player is, if the player himself doesn't have the proper mindset, for example, is an team player, doesn't have the sports mission, or yung talaga na pressure sa parati na sa side out sa niya, that talent is pretty much good. So yeah, and of course you have to know the skills of your hero. Okay, well, what's in here? We can see here the teams that are waiting for. Both the Yeah. So, later on, we'll be heading in towards our next game just a bit, where we will be determining who will be heading on to the finals later on. So, I am just so happy to see my second main in this tournament, <laughs> Alice. Go, Alice! <laughs> Go! But, I don't know. Looking at things right now, based on what games we have, I will like. I mean, I love the potential that I'm seeing in sports. They mm -hmm. play their games beautifully, but then again, we don't see teams. So maybe right. we'd actually see somebody that could match the Nexus level of uh, Nexus Esports. Yeah, in terms of how talented they are yeah. and how strategic they are as far as playing the macro. Okay. So we're just waiting for both of the teams to get ready for round two. Guys, again, this is Kaisaya. Make sure uh, if you want to know more about me, want to see the other games that I play, you go like and uh, follow my Facebook page, Kaisaya. Uh, I do live on YouTube as well, as well as, uh, as well as Twitch. My YouTube channel is Kaisaya. And my Twitch uh, channel is Kaisaya PA. And of course, para sa mga gusto mag follow sa akin. If you want updates on Arctic right here, facebook.com slash Arctic here. If you want to see my let's plays or have any questions that you want to ask me live be sure to follow or subscribe to me on twitch that's twitch.tv 
slash and of course, don't forget to follow Mesa as well. Mesa Official, only one username. You're not going to get confused about thinking or try to memorize other usernames. Yep. It's just <laughs> Mesa Official on all over so social media, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch, where you're currently watching right now. And there you have it, guys. Of course, Arena Valor, having just been released in the Philippines a few months back, we're seeing who has the potential going into 2018 to maybe just maybe represent the Philippines during the actual qualifier should we have them um, later on in the future because as far as patches we're still playing catch up but um, from what I hear it will come to a point now all will match the heroes in the international just in general and of course, if you're just new to Arena of Valor or haven't tried this game yet, go try this game, guys. You know, there's yeah. a lot of potential. You're just, imagine just playing the game on your couch, and then there's a potential that you can be a pro esports player, and you're getting money. Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, for those that want to download, it's available for both Android and iOS, iOS. at Google Play and App Store, or you could download it directly at mobile.arena.com. Yeah. I think. It's much more recommended to download it at mobile.arena.com. Lalo pag mag top up ka. Kasi oh. the iOS and Google Play version, you could only use the. Um, Credit? Credit cards? Credits, yeah. Credit the cards. Google Play credits and yung katumbas ng sa app. Yeah, as, uh, as far as I know, yeah, if you download the APK, however, this is yeah. only for Android users. So yeah. if you download the APK, as far as I know, you will be able to use your Garena shells. Yes, there you go. On on your account to top up some vouchers yes or you know top up by skins and don't forget to add us in the game and give us some yeah you know I still <laughs> my username is Kaysaya add me up <laughs> 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 that's it well anyway yeah again guys don't forget Mesa Official okay a lot of games are in here they feature a lot of yeah they make they, they uh, host other yeah. tournaments for other games as well Hearthstone, Vainglory, and such. Yeah. I mean, okay, so there you go, ladies yeah, and gents. We're well, back here. Nexus Esports versus XFS. On the blue side, we have Nexus, while on the red side, we have X Freestar. Okay, there is a slim span by Nexus Esports. Let's see what's going to it's going to be banned here. Yes, there we go. For S XFS. Finally, looks like we'll be seeing a slim span away from X Freestar that can be a pretty pesky hero to deal with. Still waiting for that other band coming in from X Freestar. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're taking their time to decide who's going to be their band. Okay. Are we going to see any band? Chug no. Chugnar. It's still going to be the Chognar. I mean, Chognar is a respectable band as well yeah. because, I mean, with Aunt, with Alice, rather, um, Alice is basically one of the... She's very well-rounded as a support. Where in Chognar, he's the guy that could throw you off as the enemy whenever you try to go for initiates, especially if you have CC. Um, so yeah, I mean, these bands are pretty much understandable. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and check out the picks here. Violet going to be locked in as priority for next esports. Meanwhile, Raz as well as the Fennec will be taken by X Freestar. Hmm. Interesting. So okay, yeah. as if as expected, Malok. It looks like you know I noticed in the the pickings of Nexus Esports. Whenever Violet is available, they try to pick it, and then for their second and third slot, they're going to prioritize tanks. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, they just they chose uh, Malok and Ormar in here. Let's see who's going to be the slot th three and four picks of Team. XFS. Wow, looks like Lubu potentially being hovered mm -hmm. over for X Freestar. Thane as well. I would love to see that as a potential locker. We haven't seen Thane just yet as far as what games we have broadcasted here at Mesa's first Blood Arena and Valor. Yeah, training. as you might have noticed, guys, oh, healing spell is yes. always here. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's always in the matches. Actually, admittedly, it's very useful, actually. It's very useful. Like, especially if you're a tank. Wow. Looks like we're going to be seeing Nexus Esports going to shake it up as well. In response to the Thane, they'll be going for the Joker. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and see how X Freestar will be responding to that too, in order to wrap up their composition. Hopefully a little bit more complimentary to me. Okay, okay. there you go. We have an Arthur pick by XFS Barry. 
a lot of tankiness coming in from X Freestar in the form of both the Thane as well as the Arthur. A lot of gears that can go straight in potentially onto the Violet and Joker should they not get too kited though. But yeah, I'm liking the picks here. Leather will be taking that Joker for himself though, taking a flicker. So I'm assuming this will be a mid lane Joker. And meanwhile, for X Freestar as well, I mentioned the tankier elements such as Arthur and Thane. Um, Raz will probably go head to head with Joker as well. Mm -hmm. There is potential to try to isolate him into a potential kill should the rest of X Freestar and go for in for a gank. But it comes down to execution. Let's go ahead and see. Okay, so for the lineup, we can see here for uh, for Team Nexus Esports, they have here the Joker, Malak, Ormar, Zephys, and Violet. Meanwhile, for the side of X Freestar, they have Lubu, Fennec, Thane, Raz, and Arthur. Okay, I'll ask for you, which lineup do you prefer the most? Like, it's just your personal preference. Well, once again, I'm probably going to have to go with Nexus Esports. Mm -hmm. Just because, again, as far as how they've been playing it, as far as what's good for their playstyle, they've been playing the macro beautifully. And if you're going to look at what they have in their kit, they have the Violet who could be pretty slippery. Sometimes we do see a Violet going for split pushes as well just because of her kit wherein she could just tumble her way out of there. But what does it have to go ahead and see? So once again, ladies and gents, this is game two between Nexus Esports versus X Freestar in the semifinals. Yes. Okay, let's see, guys. Where will be the heroes positioning in this early match? Will there be an exchange of buffs? I wonder. But here, XFS is currently hiding in the bushes. Looks like they're going to going for the red buff of the blue side. While Lubu is already positioning on the top lane, not care. They're just actually giving the mighty golem mm -hmm. for yeah. It's just basically an exchange of buffs. So yeah, pretty close. Gold, amount of gold. Yep. Oh, it looks like Peace Boy and Agent mm -hmm. are kind of joking out. Here comes Kuroki. We'll get a little bit of damage here and there. And that's the beauty of Violet. Like I mentioned, I think I mentioned this during the start of the stream when Violet got locked in. I mean, Marksman with the longest range in the game as far as auto attacks. And what's nice about Violet as well is you don't even need to be in turret range to damage the actual yeah. turret. So long as you can get the passive in. Or not the passive necessarily, but the skill which grants her that extra range i believe oh, okay so there we go it is actually tactical fire mm -hmm. and we can see guys as usual we normal normally we can see malak again doing a solo lane on the bottom lane and yeah for extra fast it's arthur doing solo as well 26 seconds from now the dragon is gonna go up let's see who's gonna take down that first Papa J wanting to oh tree from XFS wanting to gank Nexus Esports member on the top lane that's Vindicate currently in a dangerous position the minions is in here now everyone oh no three of uh, three from XFS in here but there's a backup coming from Nexus Esports looks like someone's gonna go down Suzaku in a dangerous position and it's look like there is a first blood by Kuraki right over there now uh, okay we see here XFS successfully you know uh like they don't want to give nexus mm -hmm. esports another kill nope not at all yeah. i was actually surprised that x freestar overtake but looks like we still have a prolonged fight mm -hmm. here papa j will escape but yeah i'm surprised that x freestar overstayed their welcome i mean the three members were already passing by yeah. mid lane, clearly making their way towards top side i'm not Correct. sure if it was a blind spot they passed through mm -hmm. but still that was very awkward right i agree with you there arctic Okay, let's see here. I wonder what's Leather and Inzyplay is planning in there. Okay. Currently, right now, the Dragon is available to be taken down by any of the teams. It's currently free. No one is currently roaming around that area. Still a 1v1 mm -hmm. between here, Inzyplay and Barry. Okay, looks like Nexus is starting. The Abyssal Dragon, Suzaki is in there roaming around. But that's the decision where Nexus Esports back out about taking the abyssal dragon yeah it's um you know it looks like oh they want to try to go for inside here okay it's going to be a 3v3 just in case 
Zaku, though, has mm -hmm. to be careful. But then again, he is tankier. Could kind of afford to sail a little bit more. Okay, it. Peace Boy dived, just dived in. Okay, still, it, it, you know, it's it's currently like they can't afford to be greedy on that True. position right there. Agent, I like the restraint from Vindicate mm -hmm. here. As as the Lubu popped, this ultimate went right back, but looks like this might be an Abyssal Dragon fight. Okay, as you can see, the Abyssal Dragon was taken down by Nexus Esports. Uh, a fight is ongoing, another kill by Kuroki right over there. Having a free hit, Suzaku is down as well. Let's see, oh, triple, was that a triple kill? Yeah, wow. that was a triple kill. That was a good start. Kuroko really yeah. starting to pop off on mm -hmm. this violet. And anytime soon, the bottom third is going to go down here in the bottom lane for X Free Star with Inzai Plays and Kuroki trying to take that down. And as you can see, Nex Nexus Esports just stole another buff and jungle from XFS. Oh, hoo -hoo. meanwhile, Suzaku going to spot out. The steals are starting to mm -hmm. transpire here. Kuroki is one here that they do not want Fend under any circumstances. Because if Kuroki pops off, not only does he have excellent damage in team fights, he pretty much has a safe hit from the backline because of having that zone from the rest of the team. Meanwhile, it looks like another initiate. Yeah, we saw here we saw here guys, another turret is taken down. Okay, it's currently current score is five one in favor of Nexus Esports. <laughs> and there on the top lane, guys, looks like something is happening in there as well. Agent with Agent X44 uh, four four and Vindicate. Mm -hmm. And looks like another turret is going to go down for XFS in the mid lane. And that's just going to fall mm -hmm. so fast with that violent. So fed right now. I mean, well fed with level 9. And again, it's just a straight, much more straightforward to what Nexus Esports' strategy is. Again, it all comes down to bringing the drought to their enemy and just exhausting them as far as taking down objectives one by one. Kuroki, though. And another fight is ongoing here on the top lane. LN trying to escape the fight, but still, Suzaku is having a hard time trying to escape as well because of the crowd controls. Inside Blaze dived in as well. Uh, anytime soon, Nexus Esports is going to be able to take down the top turret of XFS. Meanwhile, Arthur is trying to push the mid lane turret of Nexus Esports. Will he be successful though? Here comes Vindicate. We'll be going for the response, but mm -hmm. still, in the midst of everything, Nexus Esports pushing up towards the top side and oh ho will agent be able to salvage it no no he can't within six minutes guys as you can see a lot of turrets has been has been taken down here already right xfs haven't taken down any nexus esports turns as well and again uh, the dragon is also available now. What I'm worried here for X Free Star is that not only is Kuroki getting fed, but they're allowing this Joker to scale faster in this game. But we have another fight here. We can see here, guys, Barry trying to escape, but Kuroki was able to chase him down. Another, you can see, guys, Kuroki here is trying to escape as well. No backup by Kuroki. I wonder if Kuroki will be able to escape Suzaku anytime soon here, but in Zai place and other members of the Nexus Esports just successfully able to back up Kuroki right in there. Good backup and team play, actually. Now, Nexus Esports taking the Beastle Dragon right in here. Meanwhile, Raz from XFS is trying to steal the jungle of Nexus Esports. Anytime soon, actually, they can uh, just clear the lane of here in the mid. Yeah. By Nexus Esports. Oh, man, this is just spiraling out of control for X3 Star to try to salvage. Look at the gold difference. We're already sitting at almost 7,000. Yeah. Not to mention, well, actually, not just that. We're nearing 8,000, actually. And we're only seven minutes into this game, so. Overall, I'm not really sure if X Freestar has a chance of trying to make a comeback at this point, unless Nexus Esports slips up in a way. But I guess one way that they could come back is if they could try to isolate targets. But okay, a little bit of a flash forward mm -hmm. here. Looks like we might be seeing a fight for Dark Slayer. Okay, we can see here a clash is gonna Whoa. happen. Peace Boy just dived in now. XFS is trying to escape this clash. Barry having a hard time. There's so much crowd control. Leather trying to kill Barry as well. We can see a legendary score by Kuroki. Zuzaku having a hard time. Although in the turret already, still he is not able to escape from Vindicate. Okay, looks like there is like uh, the tables have been turned in here. Oh man. 
take note, ladies and gents, in Arena of Valor, if the enemy starts running away from the marksman, considering that the marksmen are generally squishy, you have a problem right there. And the problem here right there is that X Free Star, they can't deal with the damage that both Violet and Joker are dealing with at this point in the game, considering the heavy snowball that these two marksmen have established and it's just nexus esports again playing to their win conditions and playing to what their composition needs to do in order to take advantage of what um positives that they have towards winning a game and and currently guys good. nexus esports has the dark slayer buff anytime oh. soon in zai place can dive in here i'm pretty sure he knows that xfs was hiding in the bush there we go the dive by in zai place oh no L uh no legendary kill by uh uh violet right over there kuraki and leather focus firing on the turret of the enemy team xfs meanwhile i don't think the you know arthur is currently in the bottom lane but i don't think that is a good idea about leaving your team alone in the base anytime yeah I, okay now here the nexus Whoa. esports can just focus fire and end the game yeah uh, okay that is a nine minute and 30 yeah 30 mm. seconds match congratulations so yeah, definitely Nexus Esports is going for the finals match yes. of this tournament. Again, guys, this is Mesa's Arena Valor First Blood Tournament. Okay, Kuroki, look Stats. at that. Zero Ooh. deaths. Not even surprised that Kuroki yeah. took the MVP award right there. 16.0 overall score. And nobody even coming near half of that on the enemy team but still um well played by the other team they tried their best out there but then again the superiority of nexus esports is macro game and playing to their win conditions is just something i haven't been seeing from other teams thus far from what we've casted and i wouldn't be surprised nexus esports they have a pretty good shot at that championship i mean mm -hmm. uh winning that champion title but we'll just have to see it depends on the other semi final game and we'll see will any team be able to stand up to nexus esports that is a big question. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, guys, we'll be back within five minutes, okay? So we're going to have another match, I think, is battle for uh, the third place. Ah, okay. okay. So once again, this is Mesa's Arena of Allure First Blood Tournament. I'm Kaisaya, and with me is... Arctic at the Six. Okay, we'll be back, guys. See you later.